Hello and welcome to episode number eight of my new YouTube series, My Top 10 Slap Bass Riffs. This week we're taking a look at another bass line by Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, this time from a track called Aeroplane. Okay, let's check it out. So this riff is based on a two bar chord progression, G minor seven for a bar and then C seven for a bar. So in the, uh, in the first bar of the sequence, we're gonna play this phrase on beats one and two leading into beat three. Let's hear that again. Okay, let's break that down a little bit. So we're slapping the G at the third fret of the E string. We then slap a ghost note on the same string. So I'm just releasing that, uh, that note that's fretting the G and just, just muting the string to create the ghost note. And then I'm popping the octave G on the D string. On the second beat of the bar, I'm gonna repeat the last two things that I did. So the ghost note with the thumb and then the popped G. On the uh, second half of the second beat, I'm gonna slap the A at the fifth fret of the, uh, of the E string. And that's gonna lead me up to B flat for the beginning of the third beat. Okay, so that's what we've got so far in the first bar. Now, when you're playing this, or when you're learning this, you might find it easier to just think of that thumb kind of bouncing in between the two popped notes. Thinking of it in that way sometimes helps you get that, that additional ghost note there in between the two popped notes. Okay, so uh, the B flat that we just played there is the first note that we get on uh, the third beat of the bar. On the second half of that beat, we're gonna move to the D at the fifth fret of the A string. <laughs> I'm going to slap that note and then pop its octave. I'm going to do that twice. That's going to take us into the first half of beat four. And then to finish off beat four, we're just going to play a single note. It's going to be a D flat at the fourth fret. And that's really dragging your ear downwards to C for the beginning of the second bar. That's where we're heading to. Okay, that's what we've got in the first bar. Okay, I shouldn't find that, uh, that too difficult. So moving into the, into the second bar, we're gonna do the same thing on, on beats one and two, but we're gonna be transposing it up a fourth, so we're doing it from, from C this time. So we've got the same, same kind of idea as we had in beat one, but playing it off the A string instead. So the actual bass line part is going from C to D to E flat. Okay. Uh, so that brings us on to the uh, beginning of the third beat. We're going to follow that E flat that we've just slapped with a ghost note, slapped with the thumb, and then we're going to pop the F at the third fret. Now from this point we're going to be playing another ghost note, we're going to be popping the G at the fifth fret, another ghost note, and then pop the G again. So we're actually going to be popping three notes, an F, and then two Gs, and the thumb is bouncing in between each one of those notes, playing a ghost note. Kind of similar technique as, as to what we had in the first bar and at the beginning of the second bar. Okay, so that's our second bar. Let's hear bars one and two stuck together. Okay, let's move into the second half of this, uh, this week's line. So if you look at bar number three, you'll see that it's the same as bar number one. So we've got that phrase on the G minor, okay. And then in bar number four, we're doing something slightly different. So uh, F uh, Flea plays a different fill each time around uh, in the song. And I've really just picked one of the, the fills uh, to, to illustrate here. So in bar number four, we start in the same way. So we do those two popped Cs. 
And then rather than just doing the D on the and of beat two, we're gonna play the D and then slide directly into the E flat. And that means the E flat arrives a 16th note earlier than it did in the, um, in, in the second bar. That's not a hugely important detail, but uh, that's, that's what's happening. That's what we've got so far. Now on the third beat of the bar, we're gonna slap a ghost note on the A string, and then we're gonna pop the G at the fifth fret of the D string. We then slap another ghost note on the A string, and then we pop the C at the fifth fret of the D string. Okay, that's what we've got in, on the third beat of the bar. And one more time. And then on the fourth beat, this is reasonably straightforward, we have a 16th note rest, a ghost note with the thumb on the A string, and then we pop the B flat. You actually wanna make that B flat short. It's got a staccato dot written above it, so keep it nice and short and punchy. That's our fill in the fourth, beat, in the fourth bar. Okay, that brings us to the end of this week's exercise, so thanks for checking it out. Okay, thanks for checking out the latest instalment in my new YouTube series. Don't forget to head over to baselinepublishing.com, click on free stuff on the main menu, and download the PDF worksheet and the backing track for this piece. I'll see you next week for another Slap Bass Groove. Thank you.